Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day so far. I am staring out into a winter wonderland right now. This is what we woke up to this morning. I mean, it's kind of hard to tell through the window and the window's a little bit dirty, but look at that. It's so beautiful. We're so lucky to have this view of the forest outside and with the snow, it's just so beautiful. We've got lots of snow since yesterday. It's just so beautiful. Although I am definitely a sun baby, I love the sun. I'm not a huge winter fan, as you guys probably already know, but I'm actually digging it this year. I mean, it's just the beginning, but it's just so beautiful to look at. And I don't really go outside that much because I don't need to commute or do anything for work. So I don't really need to leave my house. So I can just stay in the comfort of the warmth with the fireplace over there and look at this beautiful snowy mess. But driving, that is not a fun time in this weather, let me tell you. Excuse me? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You want treats or something, but you got food. You're good. And you had lots of treats last night. We spoiled you. And now because you're spoiled, you want more treats. Yeah, you're not getting any. He knows that that's where his food is and his treats are. And he's been a naughty little boy this morning, just pawing at that cupboard all morning. Hey, I'm renting this place. You mess it up, we gotta pay for it. That means less treats for you, Jack. Yeah, less treats for you. What do you think about that? Anyways, in this week's video, I thought that I would share with you guys my pre and post workout meals today. Um, that is a big question that I get asked is what should I eat pre-workout? What should I eat post-workout? Is there certain things that you recommend? And I've done a few videos like this before, but I thought that I would quickly touch on pre and post workout meals before I get into them. So pre and post workout meals is totally gonna depend on you and your situation and your body. It really comes down to personal preference and it's also gonna depend on your schedule and when you're working out. So for me personally, because I work from home and this is kind of my job, I'm super flexible with when I can get a workout in and I'm working out from home. So I'm really flexible in that way, which is really awesome. So I generally like to work out after breakfast, um, but for a lot of people, they're working like a nine to five job and they have to come home, have dinner, and then work out. So like I said, it's totally gonna depend on your situation. Another big question that I get when it comes to pre and post workout is, do I work out fasted? And my answer is no. I'm the type of girl that when I wake up, I am ready to eat, like I'm, ready to eat <laughs> so if i try to work out fasted i get almost like that like uh weakness and like that weird really empty feeling in my stomach and i lose a lot of energy like midway through my workout so i always like to have something if i'm not gonna have like an actual meal or breakfast before i work out i always have something in my belly so i'll have like some fruit like a banana or a couple dates because those are really great source of good carbohydrates to have and just to have something in my belly so i don't get that weird feeling I'm also not a huge pre-workout supplement and I'm not a coffee drinker, so I don't really use any caffeine or anything like that before I do my workout. So for me, I usually have a smoothie or um, oatmeal for breakfast, as you guys know, um, and those two are really great options for pre-workout meals. Um, but generally speaking, for pre-workout, you want to have a good source of carbohydrates 
Don't fear the carbs, ladies and gentlemen. They're here to help you. They're going to help you fuel your workout. They're gonna give you that energy. They're gonna give you that glycogen so that you're ready and you're full of energy for your workout. So today I'm gonna to make a smoothie. This is just a typical smoothie that I make. It's nothing special, but I'm gonna share with you what I'm putting in it. All right, so in my smoothie today, I am starting off with one and a half frozen bananas, and then I'm also going to add some wild blueberries. You can add whatever frozen fruit or fresh fruit you like, but I get these um, pesticide-free wild blueberries from Costco, and I love them. I like a lot of blueberries, so like, Probably like a cup of blueberries. Okay, next up I have some hemp seeds and flax seeds. I like to throw my seeds, especially flax or chia, if I'm using them, into my smoothies because it's very beneficial for you to blend them, especially flax, and you should be having flax every day. Ground flax, better for absorption, so I put those in my smoothies. Great way to just get them in there, you know what I'm saying? Hemp seeds are also a great source of protein and fat, so it's a great little balance to the smoothie. And I'm also gonna add, I don't know if you can see this, I'm also gonna be adding a little bit of fresh turmeric. I've been adding fresh turmeric to my smoothies and I actually really like the taste that it adds. It's not too overpowering, but if you're not a huge fan of turmeric, then maybe don't do this. But turmeric is really great for reducing inflammation and when you work out, you're naturally creating inflammation in your body. It's normal, it happens. So I'm adding a little bit of turmeric to the smoothie. And with that, oh, I've got much left. It's important that you add a little bit of black pepper with your turmeric, just a little pinch helps with the absorption. Okay, so now I'm gonna add some plant milk. I've got soy milk, so I'm gonna add some soy milk, probably about a cup of soy milk. And I'm also gonna add a little bit of water. This is probably like a cup of water. And then of course I'm gonna add some Vivo Life protein, but I'm gonna add a scoop of the vanilla Perform to the smoothie. And that's it, we gonna blend this baby up. color friends that is some purple smoothie so good and makes your tongue purple so I'm probably gonna wait about half an hour after I'm done drinking this and then I'll get into my workout the general rule of thumb is the closer you are to your workout depending on your schedule, the smaller and more easily digestible you want your meal to be. So you don't wanna eat like a big meal of like vegan burgers and fries and milkshakes and all that stuff like half an hour before you work out. Kind of common sense. But smoothies are super easily digestible because they're already blended. They're a great source of quick energy. Also, I did want to mention that if you wanted to bulk up your smoothie, a really great way to do that would be adding some oats to your smoothie. It's a great way to get in some extra calories and to just bulk up your smoothies if that's what you're into. But yeah, I'm gonna have this, finish this, wait a little bit, and then I'm gonna get into my workout. All right, guys, so I just finished my workout for today, Kyle and I did a little partner workout. That was really fun. It was more of like a full body workout and that's gonna go up on the MadFit channel very soon. It's actually probably already up now that you're watching this, so make sure you go and check that out if you wanna see it. And I also filmed a quick little no equipment leg workout, which was killer for MadFit as well. And then I also just did a few um, glute or booty isolation exercises with the resistance band just to really burn out that booty, you know what I'm saying? 
But now I'm going to make, well, we're going to make, because this is Kyle's specialty meal. <laughs> and um, we've been making this, I'm sure you guys have seen in our vlogs recently, we've been eating tofu scramble pretty much every day. We've fallen in love with just eating tofu scramble. It's like when you just fall in love with eating something, you just like eat it every day because it's good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And it's a great post-workout meal because tofu, obviously, high in protein, also good source of great carbs in there as well. Lots of veggies, lots of flavor. I usually crave something more savory after my workouts, especially now that it's like winter time. Is this clean? I don't know, it's just in my way, so I put it away. Jack, did you clean this? <laughs> okay. We're also using... This is extra firm tofu, and we're gonna use two blocks today. Because we're hungry people, we're just gonna eat a block of tofu. Yeah, probably. Are we becoming soy boys? Extreme soy boys and soy girls. Mm -hmm. I'm a soy girl now. Soy girl. Block of tofu a day keeps muscles um. on the bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have one small onion and four mushrooms. Going in the pan. Yeah, about five. And it's not like a medium onion. I mean, it's a pretty small onion. It was like this big. <laughs> I guess I don't know what a big onion looks like. Also, usually we would add the that bit 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 bit. Also, usually we would add bell pepper to this, and that would go in the pan right now as well. Um, usually we'll do one large bell pepper for two blocks of tofu, but we don't have any. So, what you putting in? Just a bit of oil. So about a tablespoon of olive oil. That's optional. You don't need to use oil if you don't you want. Oil. You could use water just to prevent it from burning. But I will say the olive oil gives it a very nice flavor flavor. Try to use extra virgin olive oil as well. Extra virgin organic cold press. Crumble the tofu. You want to wash your hands before you do this? Did you wash your hands before you're doing this? <laughs> nice and crumbly. Look at that. Look at that. We switch rolls. Do you like tofu? <laughs> so now we're adding in garlic and onion powder. We're going to do two teaspoons of each. And then we're gonna use tamari, you can use soy sauce or whatever you got, but we're gonna do two tablespoons. I would even do more than that. I would do four actually. Yeah, it's four. Two right. is just for one. We're doing four tablespoons. <laughs> okay, so we've just been letting this cook and let the tofu get a little bit brown and crispy for a few minutes. And now we're gonna add some nutritional yeast and turmeric for that tofu scramble color. Is that enough nooch or more? A little more. That's good. And this is where the magic happens, people. Okay. So I turned the heat down to low just to keep that warm and I'm also going to make some avocado toast to go with this. Just load her on. <laughs> and the finishing touch. Two pieces of whole grain toast, that's half an avocado, and then just some salad greens with some chopped tomato, hot sauce on top, that's it. Super simple, high in protein, nice and filling, rich in good carbohydrates to replenish my glycogen stores. That's how you do post-workout. 
All right, guys, so that is it for me this week. If you guys are interested in either of the recipes for each of the meals that I made today, they are in the description down below, so make sure you check those out. <laughs> Kyle's dropping tofu all over the floor. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to see more pre and post workout meal recipe videos, please let me know in the comments down below and by giving this video a thumbs up so that I know I love you guys very much and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.